Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tommy Ackridge. On my last video you saw I was spinning this piece of wood and talking about it. Remember? And uh, this time I'm going to make something out of it just like I promised. But I do want to apologize in advance. The first couple of clips here, the video had a little shake in it. I actually changed my ducking so that my airport is right here now my uh, dust collection and where I have my camera mounted the vacuum system kind of moved a little bit once I figured it out it didn't, it didn't have any more problem in the rest of the video so uh, don't give up on it turns out nice let's take a look this is it I've been really studying this piece of wood on this lathe and it had a lot of termite issues in it. You can see all through here. And it's over the years, it's been drying, just sitting around, and it has cracked. I'm not real sure how I'm going to be able to salvage this, if I can even do anything at all with it. But what it is is a piece of water oak. You can see it's spalded. And uh, what it's going to be, I have no clue. I'm going to let the piece talk to me. We're going to go down with some tools, see where we get, and uh, go from there. So, y'all sit back and enjoy the ride. Hopefully, it'll be a, a good ending. Here you can see I'm starting out doing my roughing. You can uh, watch as I go here looking for the cracks how deep they go a lot of them went very very deep uh, i had to remove a lot of material to get down past all these big cracks and they're on the top and the bottom as well so as you'll see i'll take a lot of material from the bottom and a lot of material from the top i did do a good job of getting past them though Here I'm using a Forstner bit. I like to use a Forstner bit for my jaws for my chuck. It's the same size and uh, makes a good perfect hole. And uh, I'll dress this up with the uh, skew chisel. Here I've reversed it into the chuck on the mortise I made with the fortunate bit. And uh, I'll go ahead and finish roughing this out or turning this out. And I'll keep my life centered up until uh, the last minute. Right here you can see I double check my chuck just before I take the center, last center off. I'll make sure that thing is tight and you don't lose it. Here I'm going to drill out the center all the way down to my bottom so I can get started hollowing this thing out. Here you see I'll start out with my round carbide cutter. 
cut as much as I can before I go to my uh, hollowing tool. As you can see on some of this, this wood is still wet in the inside and it's been sitting in my shop for two years. It's kind of amazing to, to see that the very center of it, it still had moisture in it. And here's a shot of me using my hollowing tool. Um, you also see I'm wearing my respirator and eye protection. Um, my dust collection system is always running. And uh, before you ask me where I got that hollowing tool uh, system, well, I actually made that. So. Here I'm sanding. I sanded this all the way up to uh, 600 and then I burnished it with a paper towel. As you can see too, my uh, lathe, it runs in reverse, forward and reverse, and I just like sanding it in the reverse. My uh, dust goes over the top and goes right into my dust collector. Here we're putting on some sanding sealer. Took a couple coats of this. This wood really sucked it up, especially in the uh, spalled areas. Here I'm working on a finial. This will be the lid. Then I'll drill a hole and the finial will stick up through the top of this. Here you see I keep checking it over and over again with my calipers. That's actually the opening. And uh, I keep going back and changing my design. Um, you know, I just, I'm letting the piece talk to me and you know, you'll see what I'll finally wind up with. Here I'm checking the calipers over and over again, trying to get a good fit for the, uh, the hole in the top of my vessel. Since it's going to be the lid, I want it to fit pretty good. Filling the hole to fit the uh, top part. Here I'm cutting out a piece to make for the top part of my finial, measuring it here to uh, fit it into the hole that I had just drilled. And I'll cut this off and glue it in the other piece. Here I'm gluing on the top part of my finial on the bottom part of my finial.
And here we have the whole lid and finial all glued up. Gonna turn it, get it all finished up. And you know what? I'll get started here. I don't have a plan. I mean, know what I know what it's gonna look like until it starts taking shape. And uh, you know, you wonder why I use two pieces of wood like this. Well, I'm actually gonna stain this black and then put some polyurethane on it. So it really didn't matter the material I used to do that. Right here, you'll see it pop off my live center right there. And when it did that, I had to uh, center it up again and kind of true it back up again. Here I'm just doing a little sanding. I'm going to sand uh, all the way up to uh, 600 and then I'm going to burnish it with a uh, paper towel. Paper towel is just like sandpaper if you think about it. It's wood and uh, or it's made of wood and uh, it does a great job of burnishing. Here I'm putting on a few coats of lacquer to uh, get that shine and then I'll wet sand it and then polish it when I'm finished. Here I have it reversed in my pin jaws through the little hole in the top and got my live center in. As you watch, I, I really like to turn the bottom of my pieces to where there's no evidence of how it was held. I just think it's cleaner that way and uh, to me it just makes a more beautiful bottom. Okay, we got this all sanded up. We're gonna put some sanding sealer on it and then just finish cleaning the bottom up. Here 
Here I'm going to take my Forstner bit, the one that I, the tip is ground off on it, so I get a good flat bottom. And I'm just going to drill out this little spot here to take away that little nub for my brand. And this is me putting my logo, branding it on the bottom. And remember my last video, I saw how I made that. Okay, and that's how it turned out. This is it right here. I think it turned out beautiful. The uh, This wood was kind of punky. And uh, when I started out, you saw I had a lot of cracks in this. A lot of huge cracks. And it took me down to this to get most of them out. But I didn't want to fill it full of CA glue. So, I've I got it down to where I barely found any cracks and what ones I did find I did did put a little CA glue. This this piece here has a little, a little tiny worm holes and all this. I could have filled all that and, and got it smoother but I think that's a little character to it. And you see this is the center part and it's faulting on the top. I just think it turned out real beautiful. and. Uh, the lid's really tight, so I'm very proud of it, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you would please subscribe and uh, or hit the like button. It means a lot to know that you want to see things that I've got coming out, and uh, it, it helps support our channel. So thank you very much, and see you next time.